So it all started with the tetrahedron and water and the coil. We ended up putting the water on the coil counterclockwise and we noticed some fantastic things. We noticed that the water was a lot sweeter, the water was sparkly and tingly and we're like, what is this all about? And I put some seeds in there one time from the lemon and I noticed that the seeds started forming a membrane around them and sticking to the walls of the glass, which as far as we know is pretty non-conductive unless it comes to optics, unless you're using light. But, but uh, glass has always been known as an insulator. So we were like, whoa, what's that all about? So, we took it a step further, and we went right to the source of it. We took, this is the second, these are the second lemons that we experimented with. We have this rotten lemon here, this is after two months. And we have this lemon, both approximately the same age, from the same batch. And boom, we got the spiral, counterclockwise, we got the tetrahedron, energy is moving up through and that's what you get so we went hmm and we decided hmm okay we're going to take it to the next level we're going to put a gallon jug put it in a glass jar and put the tetrahedron or put the spiral underneath and see what this does. So I quickly assembled a tetrahedron made out of things I had found alongside the sidewalk. I think I took this uh, which wire, I found this wire and I cut it up into three sections and I found this and I added this which was like an antenna and I had, I went crazy with a hot glue gun to make this with some foam and I was like this had to get done so I was just like on it. And what, what happens is we set it in there overnight. It's a tetrahedron counterclockwise. Or the, excuse me, the spiral counterclockwise tetrahedron. And the water turned into this beautiful, sweet water that we had never tasted before. We had never tasted this kind of water before. It was the most beautiful, sweet water that you could just sit down and drink, just for the sake of drinking. It was so beautiful. And um, we went, whoa. So what can we do with this? It's doing all of this to, this principle is like setting all this up for some really good things to happen. So what can we, what else can we do? And what we did was, boom. I got some bigger copper. And at the four gauge copper and made a spiral. Counterclockwise. That's a pad we made for it right here. And then we set up the spiral. We, we made a bigger tetrahedron. And the tetrahedron we made with. Let's see. Copper and drill holes in it. And, Made sure that it was together on each end like this. And we raised it on the air cushion. So you have counterclockwise I mean, uh, tetrahedron that goes up vertically through the top. Now they talk about teepees. In my tribe we have teepees that do this. Set up a tripod first with teepees and you add the other teepee poles. Of course, the fire is down below. And this kind of technology is very powerful. It's life-giving technology. And they talk about, you know, teepees being, oh, that's primitive stuff, you know, those are, those are Indians, they don't know anything. <laughs> well, they knew what the secret of mankind is, obviously, because it deters, this, this, this kind of technology creates life out of a form. The tetrahedron 
is a it's a solid form but also you put these two together you have the spiral which is spiral which is actually transcending the circle and you're moving it up vertically vertical comes from vertex which comes from vortex or vortex comes from vertex which is vertical vertical vortex vertex all the way to the top and what happens is because the <clears throat> because this energy here which is cat the cation or the cathode energy here has no place to go when it's collecting information or energy except for within that form it comes up and it pushes it up through the top here it pushes the anions up through so you've got the cation the cation and the anion grounding and then protruding or uh, the field you know it's like ribbons out so we got these two happen but it's kept within the form to a certain degree so basically you're transcending the circle you're moving all this energy throughout your body when you sit in it through your spine all the way up to the top of your head <laughs> 